So you went to Lowe's and they didn't have any 90s and you need one real bad. Well, you can bend a 90 in this PVC pipe by using a torch or you can use a heat gun or a heat box. Um, but first I wanna know in the comments section, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the torch or do you prefer the heat gun? I like the heat gun myself. I also saw that Dewalt now has a battery powered heat gun. So if there's a problem with having a power source nearby to plug into, you can now use battery powered heat guns. Um, and they've probably been around for a long time without me seeing them. But I have a corded one. Now the torch, I know guys who run around with these torches and like to heat up pipe and make their bends. You can bend 90s in this PVC pipe or you can bend offsets in it if you need to. Uh, the thing about the torch is it will burn your pipe up pretty quickly if you're not careful. You have to make sure that you're constantly spinning your pipe and that's the same with the heat gun but this will typically put more black on the pipes than the heat guns will. Um, you need to make sure as you're heating up your pipe, you're spinning the pipe around to evenly heat up the conduit and not focusing on one area only while neglecting the other sides of the pipe. When you sit there over one spot for a long time, that's what makes the pipe black. So let's bend these 90s. You can see here that the pipe wants to kink, so it's not quite hot enough just yet. is now formed and I'm gonna have to sit here and hold it in place until it cools down and sets in the shape of this 90 if I let go of it then it's going to flex out and maybe um, cool off in the shape of a 45 degree angle or something like that we want it to stay in the shape of a 90 and to help it cool off quicker I have a bucket of cold water and a rag and I'm gonna use the wet rag to cool the PVC down and get it to set quicker so I can let go of it. You can see where the PVC started to burn and brown on the pipe when the torch made it too hot in one spot. And that's what you want to avoid by continuously spinning the pipe around and not keeping the torch in one location. We've completed our first 90 with the torch. It's done, now for the heat gun. This is my first time using this heat gun. Let's see how it goes.
we've got this 90 bent and to check it we'll position it against the wall that we're going to place it on and make sure it's in the shape that we want it before we take our wet rag to it. This 90's done. I'm Michael Irwin. Thanks for watching this video.